in less than two hours to beat the Sox in the opener. So Dylan's going to have to be as he's been for the last 10 starts. His ERA at 334. Got the corner. Chicago's Dylan Cease gets the corner on that first pitch, but doesn't get it here. And if this is going to be his reaction looking in for those to be strikes, it's going to be a long game. And that pitch is ripped to left center field. Robert Corey Seager in his return. Colas at the wall and welcome back, Corey Seager. Yep, it's going to be that kind of day and that kind of ejection. Cease is trying for that corner. He's just not finding it. Right up the middle base hit. And he missed outside. The second inning is the Rangers' real breakout inning of this game. Before you know it, it is 7-0. Didn't get either of them, and the bases are loaded now. Tell you what, you want to be a sports fan. You're right on the money. You better learn to read lips. Just doing our best. Left field side, 7-0. That spells end of the line for Dylan Cease, who exits after ball four there. We go, we go to the top of the third. Brought to you. Seager is there. After Anderson grounds out and Moncada strikes out swinging, here's Roberts at bat. That's the interesting one. Fouls off. Um, Seaver. I love that play. It's like bumper bolt. 0-2 oh, is called strike three. That was quick. 1-2-3 inning for Dane Dunning. Luis takes exception. Robert, not a fan of the strike three call, has a little discussion, but turns and walks away. After the strikeout, Adam Hammery ran Pedro Griffol from the White Sox dugout. So by now, y'all should know exactly what kind of ejection this is. is that Dylan Cease had a couple of pitches just off the corner that weren't called. This one. But before we can analyze anything, the Rangers are off and running again. Griffol had to some issue with the strike zone not and that's precisely why we did that earlier look and analysis on cease's pitches to show you that hey those were kind of outside side point